Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of Big Red and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. We're expecting a full house, and they are more than ready to get things started. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the Kennesaw State Owls taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltopper. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Hilltoppers will kick it away to start. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Kennesaw State Owls offense will get the first crack at it here. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to throw, it's Bryson. He makes the connection. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I gotta make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the right. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run. Not only a positive run. Shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. The ball pops out. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. Man, what a break. Great job falling on the football. Great job having some awareness. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got his man downfield. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. He'll keep it himself. And that ball's free behind the line. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. Trying play action. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. 
Takes it the other way. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Topper. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. What about the speed from that defender on the return? He's showing you, Reese, like, listen, it's not just wide receivers that can do that. I can take this thing to the house. I got some moves. Watch this. Unbelievable job flipping the field. Offense about to score. Defense makes the huge plays and gets points out of it. On to attempt to try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Running back searching for a hole. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. To throw, it's Bryson. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. He's looking to throw it. Forced out of the pocket. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play and the defense brought it to a close. Those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground. You can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They'll run play action. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. State the obvious first and second down didn't work out third and very long looking to throw and he needs a chunk play and this defense goes back to back sack jack what a great job by this defense setting the tone early in the first half they've been hitting the quarterback early and often make him feel uncomfortable make him feel that pressure keep getting them on the ground that's why they've built the lead Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. So Western Kentucky's offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Right back to the well. 
Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. On the ground, it's Young. Still running at the 40. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. Quick release on the RPO. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. On second down, he's looking downfield. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Yeah, and just got enough of the football there by the defender, breaking on the football, getting his hand on it. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big play, saving the touchdown. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion. It's first and goal. A first down run on the doorstep. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And the extra point makes it 14-0. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Back to throw, it's Bryson. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Still on his feet at the 45. Running toward the tape. And that was a huge run that almost went to the house. The defense kept him from scoring. 
Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you could tell the speed sets them up, makes the big play out to the left. They had hoped to come up with explosive plays, and they used one there to set them up inside the 30, first and 10. Just couldn't quite stay in bounds while making that grab. It's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Off the play fake. Finds his big tight end. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. Looking to pass. It's Bryson. They're bringing heat. Might be looking to run. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They'll send out the kicker here. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. They'll run it out of the shotgun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Now facing a third and long. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And this one will be stopped for no gain. I don't know about the play call there, guys. Third down, they're throwing it behind the line of scrimmage, seeing if this guy can do something once he has it in his hands. But a better job of pursuit and tackling defensively, now setting up fourth. The Hilltoppers line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On his way back from the 20. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. 
Line gets set. First down. Used to play fake. Now to throw. He's got the tight end. Offense gets set for second down. He'll do it himself. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Unleash his one. He's got an open man. And oh no, he loses the ball at the end of the run. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Man, that's a big mistake. And listen, I'm, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm, I'm walking over to that guy and be like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Now the play fake. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Now on first down from the 40. The give to the back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. And the Hilltoppers are moving quickly down the field. Using his legs, it's Young. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. That's the end of the quarter. Western Kentucky is on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. They'll give it to the back. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, WKU. Precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll try the run. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw, it's Bryson. Safe completion on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give to the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Well, the defense just has not had an answer for this guy working out of the slot so far. Man coverage has been tricky. He's beaten them in zone. You might want to think about bracketing him where you've got a defender on the outside and the inside to see if you can force the quarterback to go somewhere else with the ball. Handoff to the lone back. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The play action fake. Unloads to the wideout. Complete in the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Trying to move them on the counter. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. 
He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And on offense, you know this is four-down territory. You have to come away with a touchdown. You're getting boat raced in this game right now, and you're going to have to make this possession count. Yeah, definitely because of the slow start now putting yourself behind the eight ball, I think this offense is going to have to be aggressive the rest of the game. Turning to the running game here on third and goal. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. I know it's early, but you're down by a lot of points. You've got to go for it here on fourth down, David. I'm finding my best player offensively and giving him a shot. And what you said is all the difference in the world. I'm already down a lot early. i got to make some things happen. This is a situation to get a touchdown. I'm going for it. Power ahead. Goal line defense, and he gets nothing as he stopped right at the two. Leaves it with the back. Works his way for three and gets him out to the five-yard line. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The Hilltoppers getting set on first and 10. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Defense came into this one prepared for these quick receiver screen passes. Nice job beating blocks at the point of attack and rallying to the football. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Uh, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. On the move, it's Young. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Holds it in. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Guys, how many first downs is that just on this drive alone? I mean, this defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Now from inside the red zone. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position that can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Now on second down. He 
he's looking to throw. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there. Getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Johnson. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de do. You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here's the return from inside his tent. And he is brought down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. He leaves it with the back. Pushes forward for three out to the 13. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. This guy is doing work on the outside and the sweet toe tap to stay in bounds there. How about the sweet feet? I mean, it's so hard to know where you're at on the sidelines and have good body control. And you could tell he did. Gets the feet down, secures the catch. That is a nice catch. Nice footwork, young fella. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this, and that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Wrestle to the ground after picking up the first down. Man, I do not want a guy that will dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. 
He'll blow it down. How about that job to get down in the nick of time to avoid the big hit? Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the... And it's intercepted! A turnover from the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Looking for a productive play on first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. To the air. It's Bryson. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Floating away. He'll try to do it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. There was just nowhere to go with the football for the quarterback throwing it. So he tried to create, he tried to extend the play with his legs, just not able to get away from the defense. And now we have fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. From 55 yards out, and he's got it. Never a doubt. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Makes the grab on the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes... He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Snags it on the right. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hilltopper. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown. And that's pretty much what just happened there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there getting set. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner is stopped. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Palmer. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Looking to throw. It's Bryson. Gets rid of it. It's complete to the right. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Third and short from the 49 is this four-down territory. They'll try to get the first through the air. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And the punt will go into the end zone and the ball comes out to the 20 on the touchback. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking for space, it's Young. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at LT Smith Stadium. Kennesaw State ready to kick it off to start things here in the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. Leaves it with the back. Dances away from one. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent do the rest. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Man, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you on defense it's just putting them in easy situations chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator what do i call either way priority number one we got to stop the run got it behind the line it's johnson they stop him just a link or two short of the first and man what they can do on second down here 
This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Gonna run it. It's young. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Hilltoppers are on the move. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes his connection. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Part of the backfield, it's Johnson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. He's got it on the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around and maybe get some safety help as well because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Power football with the run. <laughs> Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Hilltoppers will snap it on first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Got his man. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's got it on the run. Goes out of bounds on the play, and he's got him set up first and goal. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now, and they may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Zings it complete to the right. Touchdown, Topper! And the punishment has been extended. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving them up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Lining up to add another. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. 
from inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Trying to get... Oh, he wants it all. He'll fire back across his body, and it's intercepted. And after making the interception, a terrific return to put his offense in great field position at the 42. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Here comes the offense on first down. Oh, it's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of time the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stayed home and played their assignment, and that's why they had success. Second down coming up. On the run, it's Young. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run, another good run, another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got the big pause on it, but couldn't hang on. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, and now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And the Hilltoppers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Strong run and useful. Picks up four out to the nine. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. On the ground with the counter. Drives into the pile just to pick up a one. They'll spot it at the 10. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Bryson. And a sack all the way back at the five. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Coming after him deep. Couldn't get it out of the end zone, and it's a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field. Put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. That's the way to open a drive. Now they'll put it in play just shy of midfield. Off the play fake on first down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. 
sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. I haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Young. A six-yard pickup that leaves him with third and four. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Might be decision time if the defense can get a stop on third down from the 45. He's going to let it go. Grabs it inside the 15. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. And the pummeling has started like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. we got to figure something out. we got to try to do something a little bit different, bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Handoff to the single running back. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The option look. Plows through the defense. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the QB. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And he snowed under sacked at the seven this has been a frustrating day and i'm not sure it's going to get any better you're already down huge listen this offense can't protect this quarterback they, they don't do anything right right now this defense has had their number all game long kennesaw state will have to punt this one away now, don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. And the returner will be dragged down. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Pulls it in. It's Johnson. Just leaves him grabbing air as he gets down to the 35. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Takes the handoff. It's Young. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Trying play action. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. 
And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. He boomed it through, a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running on the run from inside his own five he was looking for more running room but none to be found as he stopped at the 23 guys we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He'll keep it himself. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And he was off to the races and he gets it to the 45. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. That is a great example of the D-line playing with tremendous awareness. That player knew he was not going to get to the quarterback, wasn't going to sack him. So he slowed himself down, got under control, located the quarterback, and then got his big paws in the air to knock it away. They go to the counter. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line. You go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Off play action on first down. Quarterback adapting. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Kennesaw State hopes to be wise here in the red zone. From the gun, the give, looking for room. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. Back to pass. It's Bryson. Scrambling away. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. And I really like the decision by the quarterback there. And listen, it's early in the downs. Like, don't force it. Don't, don't make a turnover. He tucks it. Get what you can get. And then live to play the next down. I, I like that execution by the QB. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line. And this defense is on its heels. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown.
touchdown here, I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that too. Get the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get... And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Owls. They thought maybe they could contain him. They thought wrong. <laughs> they did. And, and don't call him a quarterback anymore. Just call these guys skill players. I mean, so fast. You can tell the angles just get chewed up. You think you got a chance to catch him. Tell you what, put that in your back pocket. Understand, that guy can fly. I better make sure I take the proper angles when I'm chasing him. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They marched 78 yards down the field, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. He's going to pass. Quick completion on the out. At the 40, there he goes. They make the stop, but barely, and they might need to regroup as we have come to the end of the third quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. First down to start the drive after the break. He'll do it himself. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. It doesn't matter what run play you have called if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the D. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up this scoreboard. Give to the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw right down the middle. He's got the tight end. He found his man and zipped it in there, and they've got a first down in the red zone at the 11. Well, I love play callers that want to stay aggressive, regardless of what the score is, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. And I promise you this, there are a lot of fans, there are a lot of teams all across college football that are paying attention to what is happening right now. Going for six. Touchdown, WKU. And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They're lining up to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. 
How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Moss. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Looking for a man. It's Bryson. Feeling some heat. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That's usually prime return position, but... He'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Hand off to the lone back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Makes the grab on the shovel. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size. Still got him on the turf. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. A third down try for the offense. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I mean, good news here. They get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is, make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision to make. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll take it on the return. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Gets it out fast. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Looking for a man. It's Bryson. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. 
It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Well, the defense is not taking their foot off the gas. They've got a huge lead. We're early in the fourth quarter, and still they're getting pressure on this quarterback registering a sack. Conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the quarterback, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Motion from the offense. Trying to use the speed on the jet sweep. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I love defenses that can gang tackle. How about the defense getting a lot of hats to the football? That receiver's a fast dude. But this defense, they've got a lot of team speed themselves, and they showed it right there. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. They'll ride the hot hand. At the 45 on his way! And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And obviously this offense has had their way, getting the huge lead. And now, when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. At running back, receiver, tight end, a quarterback making good decisions, it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. The Hilltoppers are marching down the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I'll tell you what, fourth quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys, run the football, eat that clock. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the ground game. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They'll try to get it through the air. Looking for the score! And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with the score. 
Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. The offense set for a first down play. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Throws for the tight end. He makes a catch. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Let's go. We got some life. We, we made a big play, something to build off of. We need a lot of points, and we need them quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ballgame. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. Dropping back, it's Bryson. He's right on target. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive plays. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And the Hilltoppers will punt it away on fourth down. He'll try to really get into this one. And that punt will make its way into the end zone, and they'll put it in play from their own 20. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quick strike complete. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They'll run this play from the pistol. To the air. It's Bryson. He lobs one high down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. 
And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Back to the air one more time. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. And they got him for the sack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack at the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28th. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Oh, he makes the catch. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball, Jesse. And this is definitely one of the best play callers, right, for an offensive coordinator. Getting ready to go into victory formation. So many good things happened today. It seemed like everything he was dialing today, David, ended up working out. No doubt. They put a lot of highlights together, put a great offensive game together, complete football game. They get the win. On to next week. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. 